In this video, I want to show you a tool that will make developing APIs so much easier. So this tool is used to send requests to your API and get the responses, and it's a GUI, so it's really easy to use. And this tool is called Postman. Postman is an extension for Chrome, so as long as you use Chrome, you can get Postman. Just go to the Chrome web store, download it, it's free, and you can use it. So I'm gonna show you a few things that you can do with it, and there are more things that you can play with uh, after you watch this video. So I'm gonna start Postman, and it's gonna start up, like I said, it's a Chrome app. So it's really cool because, for one, it's easy to specify which uh, method you wanna use, which HTTP method. So get, post, put, patch, delete, copy, and some others. Um, you get to specify any kind of authorization uh, what the headers are going to be. Of course, the headers are key and values. What's in your body? Um, you can create scripts to test out your uh, requests. So let me show you a few things. Um, let me start up this Flask app that I have. And it's just a bunch of uh, API endpoints with different methods. So git, post, put, delete. I made this in a different video. So one thing you can do is, what's the URL? A basic git. So uh, 8080 is the port. And if I send, um, I get it works, which is from the index here, which is just returning that it works. If I do something like lang is the other endpoint I have in this, it gives me a list of languages. And then I have a, a post that I can do, and I'll also do on this link. So if I just created a type of uh, request with, let's say, JSON objects. So here, and let's do name C++. So by posting this JSON object, I will add something uh, to this dictionary that I have down here. So let me send this, and it adds it down here because I was able to send that post request. And this is just how I define the API. So posting on that same endpoint adds something, whereas getting on that endpoint will return everything for that. But it's really cool because um, it's so easy to create requests. So like here is just sending a JSON object, and I have a history over here on the left hand side so if I've run a hundred requests I can find uh, some that, that I was working with before to make it easier to run the same tests over and over again so this is just a really cool tool I recommend that you check it out it gives you so much useful information um, I see the uh, headers returned by the response and just play around with it so like I said this is for Chrome so if you have Chrome, you can check this out. Um, it makes developing APIs so much easier. You don't have to use a tool like curl, um, which can be a little tricky to use because it's a command line uh, program. And uh, you don't have to use the browser. You can just use Postman and everything will be simple. So check it out. Uh, that's all I want to talk to you about in this video. If you have any questions about using Postman, just leave a comment down below. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thanks for watching this video, and I will talk to you in the next video.